What's cracking, folks? Welcome back. My name is Jordan. I'm from the channel Tightline TV. I want to give a huge shout out to Mystery Tackle Box for letting me take over the channel today. We're going to show you guys how you can excel on catching largemouth bass when your lake is looking like chocolate milk. Alrighty, folks, we're going to get rigged up really quick. I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to be doing today. If you guys are trying to catch fish in muddy water, like you pulled up to a pond, you pulled up to a lake, it's just chocolate milk and you don't know what to do, this technique is going to get it done for you today. So these fish are going to come up, they're going to get really tight to cover, you're going to pound the rocks, you're going to pound down logs, you're going to get as close as you possibly can to the shoreline. And if you guys aren't on a boat, I know I'm on a John boat today, and you're on shore, then get parallel with that shoreline and cast down it. But here's the rig for today. So we're going to take a 3 16 ounce bullet weight. We're gonna throw that on there, boom. And then I am going to take a three-aught flipping hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna tie a polymer knot. I like to use a polymer knot just because when you set the hook, it tends to pull that bait up. Boom, there we go. All right, if you guys are wondering what kind of line I'm using, this is 15 pound fluorocarbon. The baits of choice today are going to be the Guggen Crack and Craw and the Bandito Bug. I like to use very low profile baits like this. I'm sticking to dark colors, just super simple and dark colors. These are black and blue flake. A lot of people think you need to throw super bright colors and things like that, but honestly, throwing something just dark is gonna get it done for you, so keep it simple. I'm gonna take out a bandito bug right here, and we're essentially gonna Texas rig it. If you guys never use a flipping hook before, you're gonna rig it the same way you would a worm hook or Cinco or anything like that. We're gonna hold the bait right here. We're gonna rig it right through the top of the hook, about a centimeter in there. Bring that all the way up into the top of the hook and then we're just going to tuck that tip right through that bait just like that and then we're going to bring the weight down i'm not pegging this you can if you want i personally don't like to throw a peg on there when i'm fishing in these rocks and things like that i love for the bait to fall and then flutter so if you guys are fishing the bandito bug and you guys have never used one before the appendages will come like together like that i like to break them all off so they flutter a little bit. So I like to have something there with a little bit of movement because again, these fish are gonna be sensing a lot more than they're going to be seeing. I say we catch some big fish, what you guys think? Let's do it. Let's get, let's catch some uh, chocolate milk giants here, shall we? Bada bing, bada, oh, that was a juicy first cast. Watch, watch me get a fish on the first cast. That would be epic. That would just make the day start off great, but you can't get greedy. If that was, oh, I don't know if that was even a fish, but I'm gonna take the executive decision to say that was probably a fish. Thanks. There we go. Well, there he goes. Oh, that was it. That was it. There she is. Oh yeah. No, I don't know. Feels like normal. I don't know what's swimming in with it. It could be big. Oh yeah. Oh God, that was donkey. Oh, I felt, I finally felt the weight underneath the boat. What is going on today, bud? Why aren't you hooking fish? I just felt that dead weight pull. Oh, that was good. I felt that dead weight pull underneath the boat and then slack and I died a little bit inside. Just, just a little bit. I just like knew there was gonna be a good one on that tree. When I set that hook, I mean, I didn't feel like I jacked him, you know? I felt like it was just like, all right, well, he's swimming in with it. I try, I like tried to set the hook into some... There we go, I'm not losing this one. You wanna help? No, I'm good. She coming in with me. Hello. Hola. All right, there we go. First one of the day get back in there all right guys I traded my hook out that that hook that I lost the first two one it just bad vibes me because I lost two fish but you want a sharp hook when you're fishing heavy cover like this and stuff like that you get snagged up you get hung up on logs and all kinds of things and you'll really dole out your hook so it's not a bad idea to change it always check your hooks that thing just felt dull to the touch so I swapped it out now hopefully we actually get these fish on I know the first couple was kind of you know it is what it is you can't keep everything can't can't win them all it is what it is so back to the drawing board look at my tip look at the tip 
that tell you know. Oh, that was a freaking giant, dude. Why is this happening to me today? Why is this happening to me today? Why? All right. Means a lot to me, buddy. All right, here we go. Midday heat sets in. You gotta slow things down a little bit. Get him, don't worry about it, bud. I got you. Oh, he's barely hooked. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Rod tip. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for now, buddy. That's what we're looking for. It's close to four pounds right there, bud. Hold it down a little bit, Morgan. Guys, I don't know what to do anymore. So. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete. There's one. Big? No, not really that big. Gotta get in that stuff. All right, here we go. Not bad. Not bad, here we go. I'm telling you guys, I think they're going to be real tight in that cover. Ding, 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 ding. All right. You know, we're just slowly climbing up the ladder of little donks. I mean, that, that right there might be a giant. I'll tell you. Thanks, bud. This is going to be a long night. No, no way. If yeah, this somehow turns out to, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it is. It felt tiny. Don't spit it, don't spit it, don't spit it. Don't grab my line, I'm just... Okay. That was a f over five pounds close. I was like... I don't know, I don't know if I should laugh, cry, I just, I came out here to just show you guys, I just, you gotta be a good sport, I don't know, I don't even know what to do anymore. Today was just not my day, I, that is maybe the sixth fish I popped off, that was a five pounder all day, but when I set the hook it didn't feel like it, but I'm having a good time with one of my buddies, so that's all that matters. That fish right there came on the crack and crawl, we're doing the exact same thing, you know, just I'm not doing anything wrong at this point, guys. I've I took the matters to try and make adjustments, and it's just I'm just not having a great day. But we are catching fish. We are getting on a bite, and the purpose of this video was to get out here and show you guys how you can get on some decent fish in murky water. So I'm not gonna give up. It's actually like one o'clock in the afternoon. It's 87 degrees outside. It's so hot, and we're finding these fish just super, super tight to cover. So, even though I'm not getting them in the boat, I hope you guys are learning something right now. We're in inches and inches of water, and there's five pounders just like that right there coming out of inches of water. So, we are doing something right here, and uh, the tactic for the day is working. Right now, I'm throwing a crack and crawl. I'm just trying to stay finesse. I'm trying to get that flutter right up in there, and. Uh, 
So we're gonna go, we're gonna be optimistic. We're gonna get, there, there's fish to be caught. There are fish to be caught. There's, there's probably bigger bass than that in here. So I'm not gonna give up hope. I just gonna hope that we get the next one in the boat because I don't know what else. I just, I don't know. Just gotta reset, turn around and uh, keep it going. I don't really know. Stay optimistic when times are tough and uh, hopefully you'll get rewarded. I'm, I'm actually in a really good mood for losing a lot of fish. I just, I just, it's become personal at this point. I mean, it's just, you know, like. Come on, why can't the giant ones stay on? <laughs> I know, I was like, I was hoping it was, it was a big one. See, look how, look how much he ate that hook. I was like. <laughs> Dude, I'm like not, I'm afraid to take owls anymore. All right, well. I'll Alrighty folks, there you have it. I didn't end up making an outro on the water, but overall, not a terrible day. Definitely wasn't my best day. I popped off a lot of really nice fish, but hey, you win some, you lose some, you can't have them all. And at the end of the day, I hope you guys learned something with this video. Flipping shorelines is one of my favorite techniques. I actually really enjoy fishing murky water. The fish are a lot less finicky, and the potential to get bigger fish is always there because the fish are simply just not as pressured as they are in clear water lakes. So hey, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Do me a favor if you guys are new here, smash the subscribe button for Mr. Tackle Box. If you guys are curious or you wanna check me out more, you can go over, my link's gonna be in the description below. Go ahead, check me out. I make a lot of fishing videos. Thank you guys so much, and hey, you guys know the deal. We will see you next time.